Hey, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reading my Barnard supplements because I got a few comments and DMs asking for me to read them. And so I will be doing exactly that. In addition to reading my supplements, I'm also going to kind of talk through my process with writing each essay and how I began the writing process to hopefully help you with your essays. Let me know if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. And also like, I would use this video solely for inspiration. Um, copying any of my essays is pretty much a guaranteed way to not get in. You're different people, so we're gonna have different experiences and different ways of writing that show how we are. Take everything I say with a grain of salt and try to apply it to your own life and your own experiences to really make your essay stand out and be unique. Okay, so the first prompt is what factors encourage your decision to apply to Barnard College and why do you think the college would be a good match for you? How I approach this essay. So I started by doing some research about the college and I found what aspects specifically of Barnard really spoke to me and to my experiences and kind of like things that I was really eager to participate in. And then I thought about what the core value of those initiatives were and how they applied to my life and my experiences. So I found like the three most important ones to me and I wrote three paragraphs in this little mini essay. Each one highlighted a different aspect of the college and a different aspect of myself that matched together. So here's, here's what it is. Sorry for the noise. I wanted to film outside because it's a really beautiful day out. Embrace the last moments of fresh air that I have before I move to the lovely New York City. Okay, we're focusing. When shadowing a doctor last summer, I met an elderly Hispanic patient that was incredibly panic-stricken, unable to speak much English. When we began to converse in Spanish, I watched his apprehension fade as he gushed about his grandkids in Utah. This moment validated my desire to concurrently pursue Spanish alongside neuroscience, witnessing how it could enrich my level of care. I am drawn to Barnard because students are encouraged to boldly seek answers to their curiosities, especially those that span multiple fields, and I believe that true innovation stems from embracing diverse perspectives. Establishing a mode of thinking perfectly integrates this mindset, able to identify and emphasize the root causes that drive my passionate pursuits throughout the learning experience. So as you can see in the first paragraph, I started by talking about my shadowing experiences, and then I talked about what core value that exemplifies and how that matches with Barnard College overall, and then specifically this aspect of Barnard, which was the mode of thinking. So on to the second paragraph. Beyond intellectual diversity, Barnard emphasizes that actively advocating for cultural diversity is also central to an enriching academic experience as I do. I hope to unveil the complexity of human relationships throughout history that is concealed within the fabric of our society, impassioned by the celebration of cultural differences. The Harlem Speaks initiative, specifically through courses like Harlem Medicine, will allow me to unpack this multi-layered mystery within the context of my study of psychobiology and racial equity within healthcare. I believe that learning from diverse perspectives is key to reaching insightful conclusions. So again, I talked about something that is very important to me, which is promoting racial equity and equality. And then I talked about how this translates to the Harlem initiative that Barnard has, because I think that's such a cool part of Barnard that's unique to the college because of its location in New York City. And they connect with like real people to create real change and learn truly about history of racial inequality and kind of like how the movement has progressed today. Okay, so the third paragraph. Additionally, Barnard's attention to wellness supports my fervent dedication to spreading mental health awareness. As a Sources of Strength member, peer leader, and prevention mentor throughout high school, I have learned the value of prioritizing well-being to improve health and even academic performance. I have witnessed how adequate attention to self-care and well-being spreads positivity into every facet of life. Through the Feel Well, Do Well initiative at Barnard, as well as the Peer Educator Program, I hope to continue to share this message with my community. This third paragraph highlighted a completely different part of my life, equally as important, which is prioritizing mental health and self-care. Each of these three kind of values or like life aspects are truly fundamental to who I am as a person. I found specific parts of Barnard that match and support those values. And I talked about how they specifically would work to help me become a better person and be a thriving student after college, if that makes any sense. I talked about the Feel Well, Do Well initiative in the third paragraph, which is like one of Barnard's initiatives that they have to promote mental health and well-being. I honestly hope to be a part of that. It seems like such a cool experience, especially because I was part of the like mental health promoting activities at my high school and I always thought it was such a fulfilling role to have. 
Okay, so moving on to the second prompt, it reads, at Barnard, academic inquiry starts with bold questions. What are some of the bold questions you ponder that get you excited and why do they interest you? Tell us how you would explore these questions at Barnard. So to start, I was thrilled to answer this prompt because I feel like a lot of my interest in biology and neuroscience and psychology stems from being genuinely curious about why people are the way that they are. It's like the psychology behind our everyday moments and our everyday lives and how like genetics and our environment plays into why each person is so unique and what makes our world like a beautiful place to not sound so cheesy but yeah it wasn't like an easy prompt for me to answer per se but it was more just like truly honing in on what i'm passionate about so it's easy to show like what drives my academic my academic inquiries through this prompt if that makes sense why are we the way that we are I am drawn in by the incomprehensible complexity. Are you kidding me? There's like mad trucks driving by and there's like really loud crickets and there's like construction and there's lawn mowing, landscaping happening all at once. Right when I wanna film my video. I wouldn't be surprised if it starts raining either. <laughs> Why are we the way that we are? I am drawn in by the incomprehensible complexity of neurons that shape our individuality and control every aspect of our existence. Each one of our thoughts and actions are the product of an intricate mosaic between our genetics and environment, which inspires my desire to study human behavior and unpack this encapsulating interplay. I intend to major in neuroscience and behavior, while concurrently studying Spanish and the interdisciplinary minor of race and equity. Specifically within the NSD major, Barnard uniquely prioritizes synthetic thinking, which resonates with my belief that it is crucial to view the brain holistically in order to truly understand individual behavioral nuances and social dynamics within the context of mental health and socioeconomic inequality. I will couple this study with an understanding of race and equity, especially within the dynamic New York City, appreciating its progress while identifying its faults to craft a more equitable, equitable future. As you can see in this first paragraph, I started by talking about what interests me and how that ties into a question that I want to answer through my academic journey. Then I talked about the specific aspects of Barnard that would support what exactly I want to study. So in this case, it was like the coupling of the majors, which was NSB, the Interdisciplinary Minor of Race and Equity, and Spanish. That was like a unique combo that truly catered to my interests, which was unique to Barnard and unique to me, which is why like I kind of wanted to show that it was like a good match in that sense. And then I talked about more specifically like the synthetic thinking approach that Barnard has for their NSB major, their neuroscience major, and how that specifically catered to my interest in my thinking process. Then I had a second question and a second paragraph, which goes into specifically my desire to conduct neuroscience research and how it stems from being curious. Why are Alzheimer's patients subjected to uncertainty and neglect despite Alzheimer's being the sixth most common cause of death? Through the Summer Research Institute, I hope to assess the efficacy of the HAE4 antibodies in targeting a polypoprotein E to deconstruct the beta amyloid plaque associated with neurodegeneration in Alzheimer's to potentially delay the rate of cognitive decline instead of only treating symptoms as they arise. So I just want to say, I know that sounds like a mouthful, but that was just like one area of research that I had found during my role as like the youth movement against Alzheimer's president at my high school. So. It sounds fancy, but it's just like talking about specific research that I would like to conduct. Um, I don't go into any more detail than that, like one sentence. Um, yeah, so don't don't be scared away by that. <laughs> I am passionate about this research to fight against the abuse and patronization that these individuals endure. Also, I would like to mention that part of my common app essay talked about this specific topic of like individuals with Alzheimer's being mistreated, though it kind of all tied together from my common app to this supplement. And it showed that it was something I truly did care about, which is completely true. I'm passionate about this research to fight against the abuse and patronization that these individuals endure. Lastly, I hope to become a science fellow to teach my peers the value of language to effectively convey research conclusions with society. Through my leadership and- <clears throat> Through my leadership in Feminist Literature Book Club, I learned that language has the power to boldly challenge ideals and redefine the known. At Barnard, I'm eager to explore these possibilities to become a bold, impactful member of society. So again, that was kind of my third point, talking about a specific aspect of Barnard, which was the science fellow program thing that they have, which relates to English and like learning how to effectively communicate research and like general science stuff with 
society. And I talked about how that related to my experience with Femlit Book Club and how genuinely would want to be a part of that because it integrates, again, my interest with writing with my interest in STEM. Okay, the last essay, which is kind of optional, is as follows. Pick one woman, a historical figure, fictitious character, or modern individual to converse with for an hour and explain your choice. Why does this person intrigue you? What would you talk about? What questions would you ask them? Okay, so I feel like the people when going about writing this essay, there's like one of two routes. One is either you like instantly have this person that you want to write about and you know exactly what you want to say to them and it's just like a very tangential part of your life. If you're that person, that's great. Like you already have the core of the essay and I would just really just start writing notes about what specifically you want to ask them and what it can say about you as a person and you as a student more specifically and then formulate it into nice neat paragraphs if you have like some key points. Or if you're like me, you have no idea who you want to write about. That was my experience. I had no idea who I wanted to write about and it was just a really overwhelming like it was just sitting on me. I was like Barnard is a historically women's college like this essay better be good and meaningful and I got like quite stressed out. So. I decided to like take a step back. What aspect of myself do I want to highlight through this essay to tie my whole application together? I realized that I wanted to talk more about my passion for Spanish and how it like kind of feeds into my love for learning and how that could also be part of my desire to become a doctor in the future. Thinking about my experience in my Spanish class and I realized that there was this like really cool character that we were talking about and studying in Spanish and it was a woman named La Malinche and basically she was this very very famous individual that some people say that she like saved the indigenous people while others criticize her so she's basically like one big mystery in history and people don't know exactly what her motives was and i realized that i was so captivated by her but i never did further research so i took this as an opportunity to learn more about her and it was so fun because i honestly like she's such a cool person in history i'll just start reading la malinche traitor or savior mastermind or victim i am beguiled by the mystery of her influence on the spanish conquest of the aztec empire this Nahua woman is simultaneously glorified by some for salvaging the indigenous identity through charming conquistador Hernán Cortés and chastised by others for betraying her people and impotently falling under the spell of the enemy. I wish to finally hear her voice, free of the acute opinions of those that try to glorify, sexualize, or antagonize her being. I want to understand her motives, whether innocent or calculated, to reflect upon the events of her remarkably dynamic life. How did she rise from slavery to second in command? What influences, whether cultural, familial, or situational, sparked this unwavering confidence? How did Malinche cleverly utilize the power of language to soften the intensity of Spanish conquests? I would discuss how she defines power and femininity, inspired by her expressions of such ideals. Malinche is also widely acclaimed as the mother of the first mixed race child between the Spanish colonizers and Mexican indigenous tribes. I want to ask her how it felt to break boundaries that are so firmly ingrained in society in the hopes of applying similar concepts to problems within today's patriarchal society. Malinche uniquely captures my fascination because of her complex layered personality. I am drawn to investigate this complexity from a psychological lens, as analyzing how morality, gender roles, and passion drove her actions will improve my understanding of human reasoning as a neuropsychologist. I am in awe of how she refuses to let the judgment of others regarding her romantic pursuits taint her confidence, mission, and authority. I would love to eagerly unravel the truth behind her story to definitively establish and appreciate her role as a Mexican heroine while learning from her determination. Okay, so again, when writing this essay, I didn't know exactly who I wanted to write this essay about, but I wanted to emphasize my passion for Spanish as well as psychology and understanding the way people think. And then I talked about how this would feed into my future career as a neuropsychologist, learning from who she was and how she functioned and her thought processes and also just like as a woman she was such a powerful person and she created concrete change especially in a time period when women didn't have such power okay so that is kind of it for my essays i hope that this helped you and gave you an idea of how to approach the writing process once again remember to start by like reflecting upon what what is important to you and what you want to portray about yourself in your essays and then do research about how the college can kind of 
support what your desires are and what you're truly passionate about and i think that's the best way to make your essays pop because i think like true motivation and passion is what really comes through in an essay and makes a difference to the people that are to the board that's reading your essays they really want students that are dedicated about their work and really care about what they want to study and so i think being true to yourself and like finding how the colleges supports what you really want to do is your best bet so that is all i have for today again for the billionth trillionth time feel free to hit me up with any questions that you have i'd love to answer them i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i hope this is helpful with your writing process you got this you can do it take a deep breath it'll all be over soon try to enjoy the process which is kind of dumb to say but like essay writing can be kind of fun you know like you get to talk about parts of life that you love and get excited about going to an amazing college okay that's all i have for today i'm kind of just rambling um let me know if you have any questions like it and subscribe if you want to see my moving content which is happening in like four days so kind of crazy considering the amount that i have packed yeah but hopefully it'll all come together nicely and yeah i will see you then bye